In this section, we will talk about a concept called bill of materials in tally, which is related to manufacturing process. So what is a bill of material? A bill of material refers to a list which constitute components of items that goes into manufacturing process to become a finished product. So by using bill of materials in tally, we can derive at cost of finished product which is a result of manufacturing process. Now on your screen we have an example of what bill of material looks like. This bill of material contains list of items that goes into making of a PC and it states that a PC is made up of one unit of monitor, CPU, keyboard, a mouse and two units of speaker and the rate of each unit is also present in this bill of material. Now based on the given information we can arrive at the cost of building a PC which would be 47,000 rupees. So in tally we can define all the bill of material and its items and then we can process to develop a finished product and the finished product then will have its own cost and it can be treated as inventory like stock item. Now in tally we will go by the same example where we will develop a PC and we will define our bill of material using the given components. Now let's open tally. Now in order to proceed with bill of materials first we will need to enable it. So at the gateway of tally press the F12 key and select the option accounts and inventory info and in the screen that follows you need to enable this option enable component list details by changing it to yes and then press ctrl a to save the settings so bill of materials has been enabled in our company now before we proceed with actual bill of materials uh, let me set up some inventory information like creation of some stock groups called as raw materials and change this option should quantities of items be added to yes and save the group creation similarly i will create a group called finished product and change the option to yes over here as well and save the group creation now after i set up the group information let me create stock items which would be the components that would go into making of a pc and instead of creating individual stock items it is preferred to create multiple stock items under the group raw materials so the pc that i'm going to build would require a monitor and it will be counted in units so i created a stock unit called unit so i'll select it over here and then i'll specify my another component which would be CPU also counted in units and similarly I will keep on adding all the components that will go into making of a PC alright so I have defined all the components and I will press ctrl A to save these details of stock items now I will create a stock item for finished product so this time I will select the option create under single stock item and over here I will name my finished product as ultra PC which would be the name of the PC which I'm going to build and I will select its group as finished product and it would be counted in units as well and I will press the F12 key and we have an option at the bottom which is enable component list details so change this option to yes and then navigate to that option called set components bom and press y and press the enter key and we would be asked to define a bill of material to enlist the components which would be going into making of this ultra pc so i will name my uh, bill of material as ultra pc bill of material and press the enter key and in the field unit of manufacture enter the number one 
and then specify all the stock items which we have defined to build this PC. So this PC constitutes of one unit of monitor, one unit of CPU, one unit of keyboard, one unit of mouse and two units of speakers and press ctrl a to save this bill of material which would produce one unit of pc so i'll press ctrl a so i just defined a bill of material and saved it and press ctrl a again and then press ctrl a again at stock item creation now in order to assemble and develop a pc we would require to purchase all the components so what we are going to do is we are going to purchase the stock items for monitor cpu keyboard mouse and so on and then store them in the company's godown and in order to store purchased items in a godown we need to enable godown management in tally by pressing the f11 key and in the inventory features screen we have an option called maintain multiple godowns and change this option to yes and then press ctrl a to save the settings and now press the escape key and at the inventory info menu which is under inventory info over here we will define a godown called sarojini nagar godown because this godown is located in this particular location and then press ctrl a to save the godown creation so we just defined our godown where we will store our raw materials now before we proceed we are also required to set up few things and those things are related to stock journal so like accounting vouchers we have something called inventory vouchers where we record transactions related to inventories like movement of goods from one go down to another and so on so in order to record such entries we use something called stock journal so this is the default screen for stock journal but what we are going to do is we will define our custom stock journal where we will use it along with manufacturing process so what we are required to do essentially here is to modify the stock journal so that it can match with our manufacturing requirements and in order to modify our voucher we go to accounts info menu select the option voucher types and select the option create so that we can create our own custom vouchers so my custom voucher would be named as manufacturing journal and this is a kind of stock journal which i am going to use for the sake of manufacturing so i'll set this option use as manufacturing journal to yes and then press ctrl a and save the manufacturing journal now if i go back and check the manufacturing journal in the inventory watchers option and let me press alt f7 so that i can select my custom manufacturing journal so you can see over here that the required options for stock journal along with manufacturing options have been uh, enabled and i can use it in my manufacturing process and let me now press the escape key and proceed with recording purchase of all the raw materials so as usual we will record a purchase entry along with the stock items that we have purchased so assuming that the supplier invoice number is 233 purchased on 1st of april and i purchase these raw materials from ragu traders and i will use the purchase account ledger to account for this transaction and let me proceed with entering the items which i have purchased so i purchased few monitors now as soon as you specify the item which you have purchased you would be asked to specify the godown and you can press the spacebar key to toggle the list of godown and select the godown where you are storing this purchase and then specify the number of units which you have stored in this particular godown 
so I stored 100 units of this monitor at 15,000 in Sarojini Nagar Godown and further you can also keep selecting different warehouse or location or your showroom where you have stored another 20 units of same item so with such setting we can decide at the time of purchase where you want to store certain quantities of the items which you have purchased for our example we are not required to store any item at different location so we will remove this line by pressing ctrl d we are just storing 100 units of this monitor in our godown similarly i will record purchase of various raw materials and store them in our godown Alright, so I have entered all the required information and then press Ctrl A to save this purchase entry. Alright, so we are done with 50% of the work which is required to manufacture a finished product. In the next video, we will look at the remaining 50% of the work we are required to develop a finished product and arrive at the cost of product.